To create a clean documentary style cutout animation in After Effects, start by creating a new composition. Name it Cutout Animation. Set the preset to HD 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate to 25 frames per second. I'm using a duration of 5 seconds. When you are done, click OK. Select the ellipse tool and, while holding shift, draw a perfect circle. To center the anchor point, hold Ctrl and double-click the Pan Behind tool. Then go to the Align panel and center the circle in the composition. Import your cutout image by double-clicking in the Project panel. Drag and drop the cutout above the shape layer. Hit S to bring up scale properties and scale it down. Position it at the center of the circle. Yeah, like this. Now let's animate both layers. Hit U to hide properties. Select the shape layer and hit P for position. Set a keyframe and move the shape until it's hidden. Move forward 2 to 5 frames and reset the position. Do the same for the cutout. Go to the second keyframe, select the cutout, hit P and create a keyframe. Then move the playhead to the start and shift the position so it's hidden like before. Select all keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and choose easy ease for smooth motion. Now to add a wiggle effect, hit P on the shape layer, hold alt and click the stopwatch. Type wiggle open parenthesis 1 comma 10, close parenthesis and hit enter. Copy this expression using control C, go to the cutout layer, repeat the process and paste it. Next, search for Glow in the Effects and Presets panel and apply it to the Shape layer. For the Cutout layer, search and apply Black and White. Adjust Glow properties like Threshold and Intensity to your preference. Yeah, it's looking super cool. Let's add a cherry on top. Right-click in Timeline panel and add a new Shape layer. Move it to the bottom of the layer stack. Search for Sunburst in Effects and Presets and apply it. To animate this, select the shape layer, hit S for scale, set a keyframe at zero, move to the end of the cutout animation, and set scale to 100. Adjust keyframes for timing and apply Easy Ease for smoothness. Preview your animation. Well, don't worry guys, lagging will be fixed in Final Render, it should look great. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.